Nikki Haley is on her way back to South Carolina after campaigning for several days here in Texas. Now, before the Republican presidential candidate left town, our senior political reporter Jason White Lee scheduled a one-on-one -on -one interview with her. Hey guys, our interview was set up as an early one at a downtown Dallas hotel just before Haley and her team left for San Antonio. In all, we spent about 15 minutes with her. We covered a wide range of issues and we did hear some talking points like you'd hear with any candidate. But when we pressed Nikki Haley on an issue on any issue, she did not dodge. 70% of Americans don't want to see a Trump Biden rematch. 59% of Americans think Trump is too old and Biden's too old to be president. We need a new generational conservative leader to right the ship. The polls show this is not a competitive race. You know, I mean, I think everybody wants to say that, but if you look at 70% of Americans who say they want something different, let states vote. The more that surveys show Donald Trump dominates with Republicans, the sharper Nikki Haley's attacks are becoming. If Donald Trump is our nominee, we lose. There will be a female president of the United States. It will either be me or it will be Kamala Harris. In a one-on-one -on -one interview for Sunday's Inside Texas Politics, Haley took our questions on a number of issues, including gun violence, almost one year now since the mass shooting at the Allen Premium Outlets. What do you say to a family of one of those victims, though, that hasn't seen any gun laws change since then? No reaction from lawmakers. If we want to fix this, let's do the hard work. Let's go to the root cause. We have got to deal with the cancer that is mental health. What about red flag laws, raising the, the minimum age to buy a, an assault style rifle from 18 to 21? Where, where are you on those issues? I think if you're able to fight in a war, you should be able to purchase a gun. But I think you should do what we did in South Carolina. What we did in South Carolina was we had any of the court cases where someone was found to be mentally unable to, they had to be committed, right. mentally committed. They were not able to buy a gun. We also questioned Haley about Kate Cox, the Dallas woman who had to leave Texas to get an abortion because of the state's strict law after discovering her fetus had a lethal abnormality. If the decision was in your hands, how would you decide her? Case? I mean, how would you decide I, these cases that are so touchy? I hurt for her at the thought of that. I had trouble having both of my children, so I absolutely hurt for her. I think that Texas now needs to look at that law and say, what can we do to make sure that never happens to another woman? When you do these laws, it's more than just about being pro-life or pro-choice. It's about humanizing these issues, not demonizing these issues. I'm unapologetically pro-life, but I don't judge anyone for being pro-choice, but let's be humane about it. Haley trying to convince Republicans to consider policy over personality, insisting that that still gives her a path to victory. In Dallas, I'm Jason Whiteley.